Hello everyone and welcome to the new moon solar eclipse in Cancer. So it's a new moon and it is a solar eclipse, eclipse in the sign of Cancer and it does begin July 12th in the evening and continues to July 13th and it depends on a part of the world. So this is for July 12th through the 13th and what the energies will carry. Solar eclipses, they always shed the light of what's to come, new beginnings, what needs to be paid attention. So I'm going to do, I did already cast the stones, heated them, cast the stones. This is going to be collective energy for everyone. Very interesting too. It is in the sign of Cancer too. And I have shuffled the cards and I'm going to pull for each sign um, one of these cards. If there's a major arcana, it will be... Um, also pulled to clarify it a little so give you a little bit of an um feel of what each sign may what the eclipse will bring um and they'll be applied to the energies of what a solar eclipse in cancer would probably mean with the cards that i do pull and we are we will start with cancer through Gemini, yeah, because we're going to go down the zodiac, but um, we start with Cancer because it is their um, new moon solar eclipse. Okay, so we're going to start reading this. Where's my trusty toothpick? Okay. Intuition is very important and spirituality is very important. Pay attention to messages that are coming in. That they can be spiritual messages, also intuitive, intuitive messages. Very important spirituality. Now, there are messages that are going to be coming through. I don't see much negativity. What I see is there could be also news coming in, good or bad. But this is something that's going to strike something that needs to be cleared. So I do see that energy. So it could be for good or for bad. It depends. Everybody's different. This is collective energy for all. Definitely, we got, you know, love, home, goals, and the foundation here. This is a beautiful stone, but it's a little separate here. What it does is tell me there's going to be that big focus on home um, and family, and that is very, very consistent with the sign of cancer. But it's a little separate here. So when it is, it's saying rest. You need to rest, take breaks, patience with um, focus on what's going to be going on with the home and family. Don't try to be too emotional. Try to be a little bit more logical is one thing that I do see. Okay. There could be some, a little bit of, how do I say, jerky moments in insecure environment environment around you. Okay. Um, that could maybe throw you out of your comfort zone. Okay. So we're seeing that for some of you. There can be some dramatic um, energy. But watch what you hear, okay? Um, not all the facts are there. That's another thing too. So we could be dealing with just hearsay energy as well, okay? Um, a little bit of forgetfulness too. You could be a little bit scattered in mind, but a lot of creativity, but there is some sense of a little bit deceptive energy here as well. Um, compulsiveness, forcefulness. There's a sense of a possible manipulation around there's that drive in reactions okay if you're challenged you know getting your way may like create a little bit of resentment okay so i'm seeing that or even resistance so these are just the things we're seeing it's like you are in the spotlight a lot of us um popularity is there socially inactive um they could be some sudden Attractions to some things too that will catch your eye, um, and a new like stimulation, irresistibility, um, temptation. Okay, so that I'm seeing that as well. Definitely, home is where the heart is. You know, that's the best way I could say this. Emotional, fiscal wealth can thrive. Okay, but like I, we just mentioned this before, you can feel definitely attuned to like your loved one's feelings. And, you know, soothing kind of comfort. So there's a lot of nurturing, loving energy as well here. Now, you feelings could come out because we see both these shells up. So feelings can come out in 
maybe a talk with, you know, your loved ones, people close to you or others. And they can be very supportive at this time as well. So that is still good. But then again, we do have um, bruised feelings coming through too. Um, if there is no like tender care um, taken, you know, so we have to be considerate with um, other people's feelings as well. There is some differences, a little bit of resistance here. Okay, um, and that can also just break the harmony and the emotional strength because there is emotional strength here that's built. Okay, so we are seeing that. We do see expansion, dealing with hum hurts and pains, okay? It's right connected to the heart. Things being revealed. I mean, it's like a lot of things could be coming out. A little bit of a difficulty how to express yourself in that. New perspectives. This is in the reverse here. New perspectives and new profound ways. There is some kind of journey ahead, okay? So we're seeing, excuse me, that energy. Health and well-being and security issues are really coming up through here as well. So that's the energies we're seeing there. It could be a little bit more hard to focus now. So um, how do I want to say it? Let your, you know, imagination or maybe daydream a little bit. So if, if you're finding it hard to focus Take a break, things like that. There can be some sudden changes because we see some of the stones on the side. Um, disruption, outburst, um, counter emotion. So be careful of that. If you do something nice for someone, okay, you'll both feel really special. So there is that loving energy still overall overrides everything. Um, but there's a sense of wanting to break free, okay? Especially to do things that you like, you know, your pleasure drive is there. And you could feel maybe a little bit confined too at the same time. So pay attention to messages coming in, spirituality, and also your intuition is very powerful here. Expansion, expression. Um, and this is also wish fulfillment. It's a lot of things that are connected to your goals, your home, family, and, and expanding upon that and trying to deal with some pains and hurts. Okay? Things are not as easy, but they're going to be moving along pretty good. Um, this is also indicating travel, but it's health and well-being too. So it's one thing that comes into focus here as well. Okay, so I'm going to pull a, for everybody, a like a collective card energy too. And then we're going to continue with every sign. Okay, so we have balance. Overall, balance is very important. We went through that too. So balance is very important at this time. And continued and you know these energies can last up to six months at least two weeks you know it's different for everyone we're, and we're definitely in eclipse seasons it's gonna be a few more uh, two more eclipses after this and here we go here is the focus it's a four home family foundation very very important it's a spade like I was saying I picked up it's better to think logically than ride with your emotions okay there is emotional strength that also indicates it can be emotional strength. Rest the mind. Rest is very important, okay, and health and well-being, okay, especially everything contained with the home and family and security needs. So when we're looking at this, definitely we are seeing here um, security, home, family, emotions. They're going to swell at the um, eclipse. So balance, balance is very important what we're seeing here, very important. Um, there could be, you know, with this, we're looking at that and what we were seeing here, um, a de defensive attitudes, maybe compulsive energies, power plays, power can drive you to be challenged. Okay. So if someone could be challenging you easily, um, easily at this time too, you need to overcome some resentment. We got a spade here and we're seeing that stone there too. So overcoming some resentment, resistance, and you know, defiance. Okay, all in those areas. So we're seeing all that. Self-control is very important and patience. Very important. Don't let mental, um, how do I say? Mental confidence turn to arrogance either, okay? That's one thing I'm seeing here too. Or rash extreme judgments. Be sure to follow through if you make a promise as well too. Because fours want you to keep your promises too, okay? So balance in those areas. So that's what came out as collective energy very very interesting so now we're going to pull a card for each sign and we are going to start with the sign of cancer it's the cancer full moon so we start with cancer 
Okay, divine timing, beautiful. And you get the tower. Because of the tower, we're gonna clarify it. And you got the two of hearts. Okay, Cancer, I'm gonna put that up in a minute. All right, so for Cancers, divine timing, very important. That's like fate and energy. So remember, patience, things come in due time. Things may not be easy, but divine timing is in focus here. You have the tower right away. That's a move. That's a change. Confrontation. Things are changing. It is clarified by the two of hearts here. Okay, so partnerships. Love is in focus. Okay, very important. So we're seeing, <coughs> excuse me, what we're seeing here, others could, could, there is a, ch a chance that others could um, challenge you in a way. But what I'm feeling here, there is a ch chance to change um, some of your perspectives, okay? Um, make fresh starts, especially with the tower here, making fresh starts, most notably in the area of relationships, okay? But it can come, um, it can come about, how do I wanna say? as a result of a dramatic clear the air confrontation in a way okay because you got the tower here so we see that crisis form in a way there is a sense of that little lifeline there to pick up the pieces and so to speak whatever happens um definitely with um recent relationship clashes or you know trying to recommit to things re um, bonding again um, if you're looking maybe for a job, because this can also be that area too, this is the time to put yourself out there too, okay? Because this is good for meetings, jobs too as well, okay? And divine timing. Remember, those are the messages that came through for you guys. So we're going to pull that up there. That's Cancer. And then we're going to do Leo is next. Okay, Leo, you have Centering. And you have the six of clubs. So centering, balance, centering yourself, very important, okay? You have the six of clubs, beautiful. We're dealing with um, with a six here. So this is re reconfirming centering is very important and balance too. This deals with lifestyle, um, love, health, well-being, work, things like that. It's a clubs card, very nice. So we're looking at successes. This is also travel and movement as well. This is also let your intuition guide you. We're seeing that very carefully there too. Um, what I see here with these cards, this eclipse can really set off like private emotional matters. Okay. It's a six that deals with love and family and that too. And it could be fueled by some strong pressure to balance your, you know, the six here, your daily obligations. Okay. And definitely to be able to soulfully and, and, um, restfully, um, take care of your health and well-being here, okay? Um, your mind, body, spirit, health is primary. That has to come first. Watch for maybe unreasonable interactions too, okay? Because we've got centering here too. Um, unreasonable expectations. Um, things could be a little bit bumpy now, okay? The rhythm can be a little bumpy. It's important to respond with calm centering at this point, Okay? So that's for Leo. Then we have Virgo. Virgo, freedom. And six of diamonds. Okay, this is good too. Again, just like Leo, we're dealing with the six. Love, work, health, well-being, um, lifestyle too. It's a diamond here, so we're talking about growth. This is sometimes needing a balance, give and share what you give. Um, this is um, sometimes money, you know, working, uh, loans, things like that. But you got freedom here. So when we're seeing with these energies now, um, definitely this eclipse can bring in events that's going to change your perspective with maybe friends, um, groups of people too, loved ones. Um, also sixes like this can uh, indicate children. Okay, and that they bring in those change of perspectives in a like a subtle but profound way. Okay, it's like it's going to be a chance to maybe reset things. Okay, because you got freedom here too. So pressing that reset button, button, restart things. Okay, 
you could be also reviewing yourself at this time, okay? How you um, relate to others in a personal and intimate way as well, okay? Um, sorting things out that is worth keeping and those that need to maybe change or cut loose, okay? Because freedom is here too. So those are the messages that came through for Virgo. Okay. Virgo, and next would be Libra. Libra, you have release. And you have the Jack of Spades, okay? This is also a travel card too and a messenger, all right? It's very fast energy. It's moving forward very fast. So it also could mean when you got this release, just to release something slow down at the same time. Uh, when I'm seeing this for you guys, there is this fast, heavy pressure is what I'm feeling here. And it can be professional and it could be dealing with, because it is a jack too, so it could be dealing with maybe um, home, family issues, parental issues, parental areas. I just see that all of that's going to motivate some big changes and it can be quick. They could be very quick ones coming through. Okay. And that could be at home and at work over maybe the next, you know, six months, give it six months, if anything. So there could be maybe process of changes there or sudden things happening too. Watch for unreasonable expectations, and that could be about a person. This could be about money. Um, that can definitely lead you to some... It can lead you to fast... How do I want to say? It will lead you fast down a very costly path. So, you know, like I said, slow down. Something to think about. If there isn't maybe an agreement as well, you got a spade here. Um, the roll can get a little rocky, okay? This is like somebody really rushing through. It's like headstrong too. Um, and the roll can really be rocky through like basically abrupt change, moody responses and reactions too. And releasing something as well. So release, you know, we just went through the messages there. So release came through too. Okay, so that's for Libra. And next is Libra is Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. Playfulness. Let me put Libra up here. Okay, Scorpio, you have playfulness. That's beautiful. Let's see what's next. Okay, playfulness with the Seven of Diamonds. All right. This is... Second chance is coming through too, okay? Where you invest your time, um, money, energy as well. Okay, so that's one thing that's coming through there. Now, when we're looking at this too, and playfulness, so this definitely is gonna put some profound changes in, um, it's gonna bring and put in some profound changes in perspective for you. And it's definitely on the horizon, okay? So we're seeing that coming in. Seven, it's on the horizon. Also, others in your circle. Sevens is always that you need to focus on who is in your circle here. They could have maybe a change of heart, okay? Change of mind. They may not follow through on some stuff. Here with the seven, definitely knowledge can be very transformative at this time. Avoid any fanatical ideas, fanatics around you too in your circle too. That's another thing we're seeing here. Now, there could be more drama than substance, okay, at this time too. So be careful investing yourself um, emotionally in any current upsets that are happening now because the conditions are likely to change, okay? We see the change there too. So that's what we're seeing there. And remember, playfulness, light, more lighthearted. Okay, so that's for Scorpio. Next is Sagittarius. You have dreams. And the Ten of Hearts, beautiful. So dreams, pay attention to your dreams and your goals. Or this is just paying attention to dreams because they could be messages coming through. So the universe could be sending you some messages, um, profound messages, synchronicities and that through dreams. So pay attention to your dreams, okay? And here we have the Ten of Hearts, okay? This is a lot of people around you as all, um, Tens always talk about sometimes pressure, a lot of people around too, a lot going on. 
This is a marriage card too. So this is something nice there too, but this is really going to big parties, weddings, maybe sometimes travel is connected to this. But what we're seeing here, it's with this energy, the eclipse, the, it's going to rub up the emotional um, conditions, okay? And this is of sharing, maybe financially, emotionally, intimately, all of that coming through here. Try to get past any pressures, okay? Because tens can create pressure and resistance, okay? Um and those concepts there, they're definitely for yours to be able to transform at this time because 10 is, becomes, you know, that powerful new beginning, transformative energy. There can be issues that you need to maybe untangle now. This can maybe input, be impacting on any travel plans because it's the card of travel too. So it's like work changes can happen here that can inhibit maybe a trip, like you plan a trip or something, and that could maybe because of work, and um, it can inhib inhibit a trip, for example, okay? Self-control, okay? And realistic thinking, not emotional thinking, are um, the way now, too, okay? But this is really good. Coming to a head here, too. So pay attention to your dreams. Next card. So next is um, Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. Love. Beautiful. So love is very important. And here's another love card. You're dealing with home and foundation here too, okay? We have the four of hearts. Very important focus on home, foundation, and love. And this, both love here, okay? Love, look at everything with love, as I like to say, when we see that kind of um, energy coming through. Capricorn, this is going to call for careful attention to vital relationships okay some of which are definitely like scheduled to go through some subtle but ultimately because it's a four fours do donate permanent endings um permanency security so ultimately they will go through per, uh, profound changes and also as perspectives okay um it's kind of faded here, what I'm feeling, okay? It's like pushed along by some mysterious forces of fate, okay? Because that's where, when I see this, these together, that's definitely there. Love is that energy of mystery and, you know, just things happen. They just kind of happen for us, okay? They kind of just resolve themselves. That's what fours are there too, okay? You can find it maybe a bit difficult to, how do I want to say Maybe you find it like a little bit difficult getting backing from others around you now. Patience is definitely required, okay? And that's connected to maybe, you know, your finance, your finance finances or even your emotional states, okay? Getting support, things like that at, at the same time. Or on the other hand, this could be the reverse. You may be unwilling to give it, okay? So it could work both ways here. This is a four here. The truth is emotions can be volatile and reactive right now okay so love isn't definitely focus matters of the heart okay that was capricorn and from capricorn we go to aquarius sanctuary mm, important card okay and you got the ten of diamonds very important also card gotta move my toothpick out of the way <laughs> just threw it over there okay so Here's a 10 too. Here's a wrap up. This is good. This is sometimes talking about money's in focus here. But it is a 10 and I like to always say there's a lot of people around you. This could be a lot of pressure building up too. Remember we're, we are applying this to the eclipses now too. To the eclipse. And it is growth. This is money, um, finances, uh, groups of people, travel, business, maybe starting your own business, whatever. That's coming through. And sanctuary. Sanctuary is very important. It's finding that peace. Um, peace and state of mind, finding that place, that space of your own, okay? So when we're looking at this for this these energies now, you could be handed maybe an emotional sense of urgency because you got this here, we seeking sanctuary, and you got the Ten of Diamonds, okay? Um, but you definitely would rather avoid um, struggling with relations, okay? You're trying to find harmony here, peace, so we're seeing that. Um, these could be internal pressures, coming through and they can peak or build or you need to you're going to also need to restructure 
your mind, body, and spiritual health, okay? Especially with sanctuary here. So this can be frustrating, okay? For maybe setting some priorities that involve others, misjudgments, not the best reactions right now too, okay? They could be even unstable reactions with others around you as well. So it's important to find that space of your own, okay? So those are the messages that came for Aquarius. Next is Pisces. Okay, Pisces, trust. Beautiful. This is a nice card. And you got the Jack of Diamonds. Okay, so trust is coming through. Trust yourself, trust others. We're going to work on this now. With the Jack of Diamonds, first of all, this is pay attention to messages. This is also travel, movement, growth, things slowly coming through. But it does talk about messages coming through. They could be about jobs, career, um, any kind of messages. Um, it could be official stuff coming through too. Spiritual messages come through this as well. Okay, so when we're looking at this here, um, with the energies of this eclipse, you could actually find that you may be getting a little bit frustrated too, because this is a very slow moving card too frustrated or even fed up right now with these energies okay and this could be this could be with your like say friends family uh loved ones people around you change of perspective is coming through okay it can be good um but there is a message here because this is a slow moving card too do not go to any extremes okay in your emotional reactions especially with this energy um slow and steady take your time is one thing i'm seeing here trust yourself trust the universe take your time okay keep moving forward this is the card of movement and travel going on a journey growth here but take your time is what i'm feeling here as well okay slow and steady um there is a sense of intensity okay that's um It's a sense of intensity that needs to lighten up, okay? So I'm seeing that. Stay grounded, okay? Now, if you get some sudden inspirations, uh, things like that, it needs to be practical, okay? You need to make sure these are practical ideas, practical thoughts, practical moves, okay? Um, this is good to reach out to, um, to someone that you trust, a friend or a partner or someone who is an understanding person, Okay, at this time too. So trust, trust yourself and connect to people that you trust too as well. So that's for Pisces. Next is Aries. Aries, you have the card of wisdom. Beautiful card. I love wisdom. And the king of spades. Okay, very nice. But we are looking what these energies come with the eclipse. Okay, so wisdom, very important. Okay, with the king of spades here, yeah, you could be dealing with maybe an air sign. This could be maybe um, work-related, someone who is very stuck in their own ways too. But what I'm seeing here, because wisdom's combined here, these energies of the clips is really talking about what happens for long-term change, okay? Yes, there could be some power struggles happening now, uh, challenges, or an obstacle can come through. It could be maybe even kind of, I feel like, confinement, um, cornering your professional and family matters at the same time, okay? This is some struggling maybe circumstances. Don't maybe spend also um, carelessly at this time, okay? Be prepared for maybe a little bit of disruptions, interruptions at the same time. Um, Self-control is going to be very important at this time too. All of this is for long term. So wisdom, you know? Older, wiser, wisdom, king of spades. So that is the messages that came through for Aries. Next is Taurus. Okay, Taurus, power. Uh-huh. And the seven of hearts. Okay. Okay, Taurus, so you have the seven of hearts here. This is um, matters of the heart and power coming through too. What is that power? Um, 
Power is when we are able to release, understand things, okay? Coming into our own power, taking our own power back to, okay? So that's something that's telling you. You're also powerful at this time. With the Seven of Hearts here too, it is, this is a spiritual card, but these do indicate sometimes changes, changes of perspective, and also your, your circle, circle around you too, and with matters of the heart, okay? So it's really looking at what's around you. This energy now can be a little bit difficulty, okay? Dealings with um, people in your immediate surroundings, okay? Your, your circle of friends or just in your immediate surroundings at this time, okay? Now, communications can be a little bit frustrating. It can cause you to feel out of control. You need to stay focused because it's a seven here. Um, definitely on your objectives, okay? Um, a situation can be maybe a home situation, can seem maybe confusing, uncertain at this time. It's unpredictable. There's a sense of unpredictability. Um, if at all, in doubt, because there could be some doubts here, if everything around right now is in, you're in doubt, the best message here is do nothing at all. Just wait till you are certain, okay? That would be your power here. So powerful time. And that's the messages that came through for you guys, Taurus. And last but not least, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, listening. So you got listening. And you got the seven of spades. Okay. So here we are dealing with sevens, just like Taurus. Okay, it is a spade though. Um, definitely look at your surroundings. There's always something... When you have a seven, there's something hidden. It is spiritual, um, especially now with the eclipse energy. But there is always something here that can say, watch out for something could be missing. Okay. So there's a mental focus on that as well. And also people around you as well. Okay. There could be people that are, you know, they're dishonest. They're just not the circle of friends that you would what you should have around you. So that's one thing we're seeing here. Listening is very important. Listening is um, just as important as talking sometimes. So pay attention, listen, listen to yourself, listen to what your heart says, listen to your surroundings. So paying attention and listening is very important. Okay, so when we're seeing this here, um, with this energy with the clips here, you could be dealing with this also could be dealing with some kind of self-worth um, issues. This is also a card of theft sometimes. What has what has robbed you of your self-worth? This could be some internal stuff coming through. Um, this could be money possessions, okay? There is some kind of complicated energy. It is a seven, so we're looking at some kind of complicated energy. Could be financial stress, um, pressures, okay? Listen, listen to be able to plant a secure, like, fiscal garden, um, this uh, plan ahead, okay? So something of that nature, too. Don't overreact um, enthusiastically about any opinions, okay? Because these could be people that are opinionated around you too. Um, it can be, um, it can overpower your reasoning at this point, okay? So again, listen, pause before. Um, do keep an eye and ear out for maybe some kind of flaws, okay? There may be some mistakes, corrections that need to be made. Or this could be uh, flaws in, you know, if you're purchasing something, you're like, just say you're buying a house. Make sure you've checked everything out, that there's not, you know, a leaking faucet somewhere. I mean, that's the smallest little thing to worry, but you know what I mean? For any merchandise flaws, unpredictable reactions um, also at this time. So paying attention, listening is very important at this time too. Okay, so Gemini, those are your messages. Okay, so this was the reading for the solar eclipse new moon in Cancer for July 12th going into the 13th. Um, I wish you all happy new beginnings and those are the messages that came through. And bye for now.